Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually gonna be reviewing some pieces that I picked up from Walmart. I've been seeing everyone's um, Walmart fall try on haul and I, you know, was looking like Walmart has really stepped their game up so I thought I would, you know, like get in on some of the action. So I did go in there and I picked up three tops, three bottoms, and three pairs of boots. And I was very impressed with the selection that they had and I was very uh, impressed with the pieces that I got. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you the pieces. Um, and I'm also gonna like insert clips of me trying them on. So that way you can kind of see how they fit. Okay, so first I got this, um, um, <laughs> I got this orange like uh, checker print ish it's not flannel it's like a flat material i'm not really sure but i have this checker print uh top and it's got like uh, one little pocket on in front and it has like a um uh, a pleats in the back like you know if you like me you're a little juicy around the back and you need that little extra pull it's got that little pleat in the back to kind of help you out and um it's by Tara and Sky, and my size is the size um, 2X, which is a 20 to a 22, and it fits really good. It's kind of big though. Um, I'm 5'2", so um, it seems like companies think that when you're plus size, that you're automatically at least like five foot eight or something, because every time I buy uh, clothes that are that size, a lot of the times I have to kind of alter them a bit or just kind of have to work with them because they're really um, long. So that's like how this shirt is, if you can uh, see it in a video clip or whatever. But what I'm gonna end up doing is tying it up probably around the um, around the waist area and kind of wearing it that way. But um, yeah, it's really nice and I plan on rolling the sleeves up and everything, it's long sleeve. And I feel like it's going to be the perfect staple piece for the uh, fall. And I'm going to uh, probably, I don't know, probably tie it around my waist. Just try to do different stuff with it to kind of um, make it look nice, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the second piece that I got is actually a knit sweater. And it's v-neck. And it's got like three buttons on it. And uh, yeah, it's V-neck, it's three buttons, and it's by No Boundaries, which is also a Walmart company. This is uh, 3X junior sizes, and I was very happy to see that they had um, a 3X in junior sizes. Um, I could fit the 2X in junior sizes because it does have like a lot of stretch, but I didn't want the shirt to have to really stretch um, in the fall. I kind of like my clothes to, you know, kind of be a little bit looser fitted. That way I can kind of get t-shirts under it if I want to, if I'm feeling it for that day. And I don't want the shirt to already be tight. But uh, yeah, it's long sleeves. And um, it's like a pretty uh, burnt orange color. And um, yeah, I, I really like it. And I thought that it uh, paired very well with like some jeans or um, a denim skirt. Uh, even a romper if you have one. So I think this is going to be a good uh, staple piece. And it's a long, and let me say this about the Walmart clothes too. To I've never been uh, since high school. I've never really been one to buy Walmart clothes because they didn't always have the best reputation and they didn't last very long. But these are really made nicely. They're solid pieces. Like they're not like thin or see through or anything like that. Like I've ordered uh, clothes online before from uh, sites that will remain anonymous, and they have arrived and they were pretty thin. I cannot stand thin clothes. So this is pretty well made. All right, so I just showed you that top. I like it so much. I got it in black. <laughs> it's the same size, same description, so I don't have to go through that again. But yeah, so I had to get it in black. And I thought that, you know, I could kind of like mix and match with those because I really like the print. I really like the v-neck because even though it's getting ready to get cold, I'm just one of those people I kind of still like to, I still like kind of like to show a little skin. I feel like it's, I feel like it's feminine, you know, to show, you know, just a little, 
just a little, just a little skin, just a little bit. So I uh, liked it so much I bought two tops. So those are my uh, three tops. Now I'm gonna move to my bottoms. All right, so the first pair of jeans I got are just a basic pair of um, Lee Riders uh, denims and they're mid-ride, I'm sorry, they're mid-rise skinnies. And um, they kind of have like the, a little like faded looking like distress lines there and on the bottom of the leg part or whatever. And these are really nice. They're really nicely made, you know, traditional jeans. They have their belt loops and their front pockets and their back pockets. So, uh, yeah. And um, these are, they do have a sign on them letting you know that they're deep dyed. Um, I feel like the darker colors look so good in the winter time. I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep saying winter. <laughs> But the darker colors do look really good uh, for the fall time. They um, really pop out the colors of um, the oranges and your yellows, your browns and reds and whatnot. And the darkness really contrasts very well with them. So that's why I felt like this was a must have. Okay guys, so my second pair of pants are a little unusual for um, the fall, but I'm gonna make them work. Okay, so there's some distressed, um, okay, so this is what they say. They say that they're signature Levi Stratus, uh, modern jeggings, so they're jeggings. They don't have like a button or a zipper or anything in the front, but they do have like some kind of, I don't know, some kind of lining in here. I'm not exactly sure what it's for, um, but I'm sure it serves some kind of a purpose. But yeah, and it does have like some kind of like darkening in the uh, acid washed parts or whatever. It has like some kind of darkening, kind of brown. It's not really picking up on the camera really well, but it had like some darkening, maybe around the leg a little bit better. Yeah, so it has some darkening in the uh, acid washed parts of the jeans. So I feel like these were a good piece because they, um, you know, they aren't like my other pair of jeans. They aren't just like solid dark color. Um, you know, it's, it kind of gives me something a little bit different. You know, you don't want to be just always wearing just your dark color jeans. I want to kind of have like variety and color too. And then I have other jeans that I uh, still have from like the summer months that I'm gonna still be using in the fall months. I'm just gonna probably just put um, fall colored tops, jackets and blazers with those. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so my last pair of jeans, I'm sorry, they're not jeans. These are also jeggings. My last pair of jeggings are this beautiful, like plum color. I know it's showing up burgundy on camera. At least it looks burgundy in my viewfinder. But it's not burgundy. It's like a pretty uh, plum color. And these are also by uh, Levi Stratus, um, modern jeggings. And then they have like this um, elastic band around the back and the side to kind of give you um, a little room to kind of like move around. And you know, so you won't have something that's like, you know, cutting into your skin or, you know, giving you like that muffin look or whatever. So um, I thought these were really cute when I saw them and I thought that they would be a perfect piece for those days when I want to have like a pop of color. And they have functioning pockets in the front and they have functioning pockets in the back. And yeah, like, like I'm gonna really enjoy wearing these this fall. Okay, so moving on to shoes, well, boots. I got a pair of boots that really gave me like that nostalgia feel because I owned a pair of boots that looked kinda like this when I was in like the fourth grade. So these are the boots. And they have like this like knit kinda like sweater, oops. <laughs> they have like this knit sweater look around the uh, top part of the shoe. And then it's got these little like bronzy, oops. 
<laughs> it's got these little bronzy looking pieces around like the shoe lace area or whatever. And the sole is pretty solid also. And I just thought these were so cute. And I thought that they would pair well uh, for the fall and also uh, for the uh, winter month. So I felt like I had to get these and they were only like $25. So that's really not bad. Um, especially if you're like me and you have like uh, <laughs> wide feet or fat feet. Um, because if you have ever shopped in places like Torrid or Lane Bryant, you can appreciate uh, paying $25 for a pair of boots because their boot prices are like <sighs> up there. So I appreciate paying $25 for a stylish pair of boots. All right, so the next pair are my favorites. <sighs> I am in love with these boots, y'all. I'm so in love with these boots. Like they got this nice, pretty heel on them. And I love the chestnut, cognac, I don't know. It's got like a rusty, rusty brown color to them. They're really pretty and they got the nice little buckle area on here and a little area so my ankles, legs can breathe or whatever. And I'm in love with these boots. They look just as good on. And they, excuse me. And they were only $25 also. So yeah, I'm I'm also loving this. Like I said, coming from paying Torrid and Lane Bryant prices, like you can't beat $25 at all. Even uh, when Charlotte Roos was open, like their shoes were like up there unless they were having a sale. So yeah. All right guys, and my last pair are these leopard print booties. They have nice white soles and they have like a dual zipper on the front so you can easily get your foot in when you're foot heavy like I am. This is a blessing. <laughs> so I really like these shoes um, because in the fall and winter month, well, you know what? Let me not lie, in every, every season of the year, I love me some leopard. I would put leopard with almost anything. In the spring, I would have uh, le leopard slippers. In the summer, uh, I will break out a leopard skirt, leopard top, just depending on how I feel that day. In the fall, I have just pulled out my leopard um, scarf that you see me uh, wearing in the video clip with these. And in the winter, I'm gonna probably be doing the same thing. So I am really loving the print. And they were only $20. They were only $20. And they also carry the wide width sizes, um, which I thought was really great. A lot of places just, a lot of stores should have like straight sizes, but Walmart actually included the plus size community and they actually, um, you know, thought about us, I guess, from a fashion perspective. Uh, maybe not Walmart particularly, but you know, the Lee Company, No Boundaries Company, Sky and Terra, like they really um, went to, they, they really outdid themselves for us. I think uh, Time and True, those are the makers of all three pairs of boots that I um, got. And um, they also cater to um, people who have wider feet, so I really appreciate that. And um, all these pieces, like the three pairs of pants, three tops, three uh, pairs of boots, they were under $200. I think like after tax, it was like uh, $192.99, which I feel like you cannot beat. So uh, yeah. Um, also, all right guys, so it's fall time and I feel like your fragrance should always match your season. Every year I always go to Bath and Body Works for each season and I pick out at least two different scents that I want to smell like for that season. You can always catch a sale. I always catch a sale. Nine times out of ten unless they're having a buy three get two or buy three get three. I'm probably not going to pull up but they have those sales um, off and on throughout each season so you can um, get you can get six um, you can get six items for about 30 I'm sorry, not 30, for around uh, 30, maybe 35, 40 bucks, depending on what you get. 
and then sometimes they also have five dollar sales on uh, on shower gels so guys make sure that your scent matches your season and i will see you guys in the next video bye